welcome aboard this live launch with Hunky Dory TV. The crafting captain has turned on the fastened seatbelt sign and we are now cleared for takeoff. In preparation for launch, please ensure all of your troubles and worries are properly stowed. You won't be needing those today. Our flight time will be a craft filled 60 minutes or more and the Hunky Dory crew are now ready for departure. At this time we ask you to sit back, relax and enjoy our video presentation. Live launch takeoff in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have live launch liftoff. Good morning everybody. Welcome to Hunky Dory TV and happy Thursday. I had to think about the day then. I was very confused. Um, welcome and thank you all for joining us this morning. I hope you're super excited to see what we've got to share with you. But first of all, let's have a little look at our fabulous guest we have today. Uh, we have the wonderful Rebecca. Good morning. Joining us in the demonstration station. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm good, thanks. Good. Yeah, four out of four. I've enjoyed every show this oh, week. Oh, we are working you this week, aren't we? Yeah, but I had a little bit of time working from home last week. So, yeah. you know, I'm paying my dues again. You are very good we all we've all had a little bit have a little bit of time off and at home with yeah. one thing and another yeah um but hopefully we're all back now and we're all good uh, and of course we've got the fabulous emily looking after us in um black corner um the producer's we, station we, do, we need like a proper like den name for it don't we you could have like oh, a no, done emily <laughs> You could have like a director's chair with your name, you know, like yeah, in Hollywood have, with your yeah. name on the back. That would be so cool. That would be wicked, wouldn't yeah. it? I think we're going to make you one of those, Emily. Um, OK, so before we get into today's show, let's have a look at this week's Win It Weekly. OK, if you would like to be in with the chance of winning this fabulous Moonstone Dies Wheel Surprise nearly, um, collection, we have three winners available. It's worth £35.98. It comes with the fabulous die, which creates that gorgeous sort of wheel um, kinetic movement in your cards. And it also comes with the stamp set. So let me turn that one around. It's back to front. Comes with the four stamp sets there as well. So you've got like the um, sort of gumball machine. You have the balloons and the little critters. You have got the aeroplane and you have the sort of retro gaming machine there as well. Um, and you also get your little brads included so you can create that spinning wheel effect. So we have got three winners, £35.98 worth of goodies. You just need to answer our, our question correctly. Now, I wasn't sure about this. We were just chatting about it before the show because I was like, is this the thing? Uh, but what is considered bad luck during the Chinese New Year? Is it A, wearing flip-flops? Is it B, eating porridge? Or is it C, whistling? Which one do you think is the correct answer? Just pop it in the comments, like and share it with your friends and we will be selecting three winners on tomorrow's show. It is Friday, isn't it, tomorrow? Yes. How very exciting. Okay, are you ready to see our brand new launch of today? Let's have a look at some of the fabulous cars the team have made first. gorgeous are those cards I love a concept card because they're so easy to put together they're literally going to take you minutes but they always look absolutely stunning and I know that people will look at them and think how have you done that that must have taken you hours and you can be like mm -hmm, it did you could totally lie about it okay so first of all we have got um, the decoupage rocker cards for her concept card collection so it's going to make you 12 cards you're going to get six different designs and you're going to get two of each so these are your uh, top of bits and pieces so as you can see you've got the six different designs on there and you are going to get two of those uh, double-sided as well FYI um, then you're going to get all your decoupage bits and pieces so you can see here you've got the butterflies there look at the little bunny so cute it's so cute isn't it it's just adorable and then you've got that really sort of um, stylish elegant lady here you've got the dragonflies you've got that beautiful cottage again you're going to get two of each of those then you're going to get your card bases 
Uh, and what are these little bits for, Becca? Um, I think you can put them on the front to just be like a really pretty front so of your decorative, card. decorative, yeah. Yeah, and there's so many, you know, you don't have to use them. If you want to make your kit go a bit further, you can use them on other projects yeah, as definitely. well. Yeah, definitely. They're lovely, aren't they? So you've got that foil detail on there. And you can see these are your actual card bases here. They've got that score in the middle there to create your base. And obviously you've got that little section there to write your message in as well. And you are going to get two of those ones. And then you're also going to get two in this colour as well. You do also get full step-by-step -step instructions just to say there as well. If you are looking at these and you're a little unsure, you do have the instructions. But of course, you can always watch this show back at any time. Um, to see the demos that Becca is going to show us as well and you do get your envelopes included as well um, let's have a look at some of the gorgeous makes because they are absolutely fabulous um, I'm going to just pop them on here let's get in the right position they're so cute oh look at these aren't they fabulous they really are so I'll show you all the different designs we've got the teapots there we've got the dragonflies oh, I love how they just they rock, they're just fab, aren't they? They really are. That one's beautiful. Look at the accent foil detail, just catching the light there. It's just amazing, isn't it? I love how we've got these little sections in here as well. That just keeps them... Nice and sturdy. sort of explained, doesn't it? Yeah, because there's yeah. nothing worse than when you've got a really fancy card on the, the, um, the mantelpiece and it just won't stand up properly. Oh, she's having a right good time, isn't she? Oh, definitely. Amazing, and then we've got that gorgeous bunny. He's so cute. Oh, I know, they're adorable. They're just fab, aren't they? Okay, Becca, are you going to show us how easy these are to make? I am. They literally take minutes <laughs> to put together. So I'm going to start with the um, for her that Anne Marie has just shown us. <coughs> so yeah, you start with your base. So you, let's pop that out really, really nicely to pop out there, and then you get your sort of decoupage elements here. Um, so it works in the same way as um, if you're familiar with some of like our decollage kits. Yep. You don't have to cut them out by hand, they're all die cut for you. Um, so you just pop the pieces out just like off the sheet, really, really nice and simple to do. And just pop them out like this. There's just a little bit there stuck. So I'm just going to pop out all my pieces. So easy. They're so easy. Yeah, like I say, any fans of decollage, you are going to love this yeah. kit because it works in a similar kind of way. Um, all nicely die cut for you. Even the little pieces are so easy to pop out and they just work so well. So I've, like I say, I've gone for this sort of elegant lady. She's very glamorous. Um, and I thought the butterflies and the cherry blossom, Aww. they just remind me of spring. Yeah, definitely. It's on its way. It is. We're not, we're, <coughs> you know, it's quite mild today as well, actually, which is it my is, isn't it? Yeah. favourite kind of winter weather. Um, so I'm just going to go around and just trim off all these pips. Um, obviously, just so they're super secure in the sheet, they are a little bit proud, some of these pips, but you can just go around with your scissors. And then what we want to do is pop our foam pads just on the back here and then start layering this up. It's really, really easy, especially with these, the artwork that we've chosen. Um, you know, you're not going to be guessing no. um, what goes where. It's really, really easy. So just peel back those foam pads and just start bringing it to life, giving it loads of dimension. That particular one you could actually use without the topper, couldn't you, on another card? Because oh, it's the yeah. whole image of the lady yes. with the... Um, the cherry blossoms there definitely yeah you could definitely if you want to um, be a little bit more frugal yeah with your definitely kit, um yeah you could use that on another card <coughs> um there's loads of different ways i always love that our concept cards and um, they are so reasonable as well aren't they oh for sure i didn't even mention the price so they are 14.99 each and um, obviously we've got a for her we do have a for him and um, but you can grab them both and save eight pounds of 21 pounds 98 so if you're liking the look of uh, the ladies and you want the guys as well then the bundle is the best option there because it's going to save you the most money yeah definitely um, and sometimes like uh, masculine cards are something that as card makers we can sometimes like struggle with yeah. or have a hard time with but obviously with the artwork here it's all done for you i think having men's cards with a bit of movement as well a little bit of definitely kinetic elements to them i think it makes them a bit more fun because i think men's cards can generally be a bit yawn you know they you can, can be yeah there's there's quite um there's quite a rigid set of theme for yeah. men isn't there more so than ladies um so i'm just popping out these pieces i love that peach butterfly print it's stunning um on that scalloped detail um and like you say if you get this going sort of on it's designed to sit 
on the mantelpiece. Yeah. Be really, really proud. You um, just wouldn't want to put it away, would you? No, no. And I love that. So if you do, do you, um, I'm a massive hoarder and I keep all my cards. I'm, oh, I'm a bit like that. Yeah. I'm so sentimental in things like that. If anyone makes me anything or sends me a nice card or a nice note, I have to keep it. It's yeah. just ridiculous. I have boxes of birthday cards and wedding cards. We kept all of those as well. Mark tried throwing away the kids' Christmas cards that they made. Aww. And I was like, eh, what are you doing? Yeah, that's it. And I don't I even have like, children. Absolutely not. This is not okay. That's it. I don't even have children and I'm like, <laughs> every picture make would be saved. I, yeah. It I is hard. Sometimes you do, like, our fridge gets to the point where it's just full of, like, pictures and paintings and things. And you yeah. do, every now and again, you do have to have a bit of a sort out and just be like, right, well, this is just a squiggle yes. on a bit of paper yeah. in the corner of an A3 sheet. <laughs> I think we need to get rid of that. Um, but it is hard. It, uh, it must be, like, honestly. Um, Brill. So I'm just popping that on there. Uh, let's give that a little bit of a score so that we know exactly where we're going to stick it. So just pop that just in the centre. Cute. I love this. Look how Very easy that's come together. I know, exactly. So it's quick. Really, really quick and simple. Um, <coughs> so I'm just going to put my... Um, I don't know what this is called, the base strip, I think it's called. Yeah. Um, it's already scored for you, so you just pop it like that. Oh. Pop a bit. I've used red tape on this because it is sort yeah, of... Yeah, that makes sense. For the yeah. Con yeah, anything sort of construction-y, I'm always straight to my red tape. Um, so just popping that on the sort of white side, bend it forward. Oh, it's called the accordion strip. Oh, the accordion strip. That's a really clever name, isn't Fold it? Fold and add the accordion strip inside the rocker base to ensure it won't flop under the weight when open. Amazing. We love Alan's instructions. Yeah, he, he does write the nicest instructions. Have you, um, have you ever been asked to be one of Alan's hands models? Uh, I don't think I've had the pleasure. Really? No. Oh, because sometimes for the instructions, he does, um, he's like, oh, I just, need, I just need a pair of hands to be my, <laughs> be my instructions. <coughs> I, I I think that's some sort of, uh, I think he just wants to get you in the photography room. That's what that is. Honestly, <laughs> don't start that, Amory. I'm going to pop my little sentiment there. It's gorgeous, that cherry blossom detail. And honestly, two minutes. How really, quick really is quick that? and simple. And let's get it rocking. Uh, oh, she's isn't fab, she isn't she? fabulous. So I was thinking before we jump into the men's, would you be able to show us a men's one as well? Oh, of course. Is that okay? Because yeah, I know on. you've got two other fabulous demos lined up for us. Yes. But yep. because that was so super speedy. Yeah, of course. I thought, let's have a look at the guys now as well, and then I'll show you all of the designs. So I'm giving it a sneak peek. So this is of all of them. So you can see the sort of decoupage elements on there. And we're going with the classic car, everyone's favorite. So just popping out the pieces again, really, really easy to do. And the nice chunky bits of decoupage, some of them are bigger than others, and this is a nice sort of chunky one. There's nothing too fiddly in this one. Um, I think though on the lady, I think the smallest piece was that butterfly, and that's not too difficult. No, it wasn't too bad, was it? No, not at all. Someone's asking what size they are. Could you do me a favour and just measure one of our envelopes? I think they're five by five. Yes, certainly. But just to double check. Uh, yeah, five yeah, by five. So they fit into, I can't remember who it was now. Let me just go back and... Uh, Kathleen Woolacott. Um so they fit into a five by five envelope so they'll be just under. Amazing, very cute for like, oh that acorn wood one would be nice for kids as well. Oh wouldn't it? And I always think kids just love interactive cards. Definitely, if yeah. If I ever get a children's card like made to order, I always try and make it a little bit, f a little bit more fun and a little bit more interactive. Myra said, it's a beautiful card. I'd cough and lose the little butterflies. Oh, I know. <laughs> I know how you feel right now, Myra. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I must say, there are a few people commenting saying that I still, I still sound poorly. I, I do feel a lot better than I sound. I can only apologise for my cough. Um, but I'm, I'm not that bad. No, no, no definitely. You oh, my goodness. Jenny Holdsworth has just put, I came across a wedding acceptance for my first wedding 52 years ago. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, see, that's the kind of thing that I do. Yeah. I keep everything like Just that. Just keep all, all sorts of bits of stuff like that. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing, though. Yeah, I have to say, I don't think I did keep my acceptances, but I kept all my engagement cards, all my wedding cards, 
all like little knick knacky bits. Yeah. You just do, you don't do. you? do, yeah, you really do. Have you still got your wedding dress? Yeah, yeah. it takes up so much room as well. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, I had like quite a, not a full on princess style, but it was a little bit, it had a big skirt and it yeah. takes, it's in my main wardrobe. Oh, is it? Honestly, I need to get it moved. <coughs> it's ridiculous. I've been married nearly three years. Mine's in the attic. It's in like um, one of those vacuum oh, yeah. things. Honestly, like, before I got married, I was like, I'm definitely going to get rid of it. There's no way I'm keeping this wedding dress. It's ridiculous. And then when like you get married, you're like, oh, I can't throw yeah. it. <laughs> I've thought about it a few times, but I just, I'm like, no, I'll just, just keep it. Yeah, I think there's, um, there's it, it's so hard to throw away anything like that. Um, brilliant. So I've got my base and then I'm just going to put a l little bit of tape on my scallopy edge and then we will get to um, showing all the men's ones. Yeah, there's some amazing designs in the men's ones. There really is. Yeah, so quick and simple um, like to do and they're just really effective designs, aren't they? They just lend themselves to this decoupage so well. So let's just pop this tape off here. And I guess if you wanted to, just looking at your, your card base there, if you wanted to keep that as a whole circle and oh, use yeah. it as like a, a, a matte on layer and then use your topper on a, on a bigger card, you don't yeah. have to make them into rocking cards if you don't want to. As always with our concept cards, there aren't any rules. You know, we give you the instructions and the inspiration to make them in this style, but you can do anything with them. Oh, definitely. I think um, I've actually, um, sneaking ahead, on that sort of line. I did the decoupage rocker feature for the magazine. Oh, and okay. I had to do a few quirky oh, projects. Amazing. So if you keep your eyes peeled for like March time. The March magazine, yeah, yeah. the next one. Is it 64? I want to say, yeah, 64. Um, but yeah, I've done some quirky projects. And like I say, I did use that idea of just putting them on a card, using them as mats and layers. These scallop edges are foiled as yeah. well. Um, so we're just going to say, um, driving by to say, I love that. And then there's two a real classic as well. Um, I might just squeeze that two a real classic one just on the side. I think you've done this one even quicker. Yeah, I think that, yeah, once you, um, and I didn't have a, quite as much prepped with this one. I didn't have my tape on. So it just goes to show how quick you can pop these together. Um, you could be, you could have this by sort of early next week. I had them all made. Oh, definitely. And, and if you're making to sell or making yeah. to order as well, they are going to be so, so quick. Um, bring <coughs> our base, pop our accordion strip. Again, I'm just going to go with don't want a floppy rocker. I think Shelley said that before. <laughs> Nobody wants no, a floppy rocker. No, we really don't. Not today. So I'm just going to go in with my standard tape just because it's to hand. And I think as well, if you're, you know, if you are making to order and making to sell, having these on your stall, they're going to look great rocking away all together in a big, um, in a big bundle. And you could probably sell them as a complete bundle. You could, yeah, definitely. That would be a great way to Maybe sort make a little them. box to put them in. Definitely. Um, they're just going to look great. And with how quick you can make them, you could even make them like on demand as well, yeah. I think. You know, take a packet of foam pads with you. Oh yeah, definitely. That would be a good idea. Oh, so many people have just still got their wedding dresses. We're not alone. Oh, that's good. Um, Jan Berry, she said, I have my wedding cards and telegrams from my wedding day 53 years ago and my veil and tiara. Oh my goodness. Carol's still got her wedding dress and all her cards uh, from 46 years ago. Myra's still got her dress um, from 31 years ago. They got married on a beach in the Seychelles. Oh, wow. So they don't have any invitations because they don't have any guests. How lovely, though. Let's get this pair of rocking and rolling. Oh, oh wow. They look, don't they look great? <coughs> they look amazing, they, they don't they? They look so smart, don't they? Yeah, They're I love fabulous. those. Love, love, love. Thank you so much for that, Rebecca. No worries. Okay, let's have a look at all the different designs that you're going to get in the men's um, collection then. So we've got some really good sports in here, like cycling is so popular, isn't it? Definitely. And um, we've got the rugby featured in here. We've got sort of classic football, uh, very retro. And we've got the car. Let me just move it back a bit, then you can see the train and the golfer there as well. So again, you're going to get two of each of all of the designs. Look at all your layers you're getting on here. So you're not getting loads and loads of layers, but you are getting enough to still give you that amazing impact. And because it's quite chunky, it really does look fabulous. I love the cyclist. It's just something a little bit different, isn't it? Yeah, nice modern contemporary yeah, style. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. 
And then again, you're getting all of your bases that are pre-scored. You've got your um, sort of decorative foiled scallop elements. You've got all your sentiments on there. We've got that little accordion uh, strip at the bottom there as well. So it's going to make you 12 cards in total. So if you're going to grab both for £21.98, that's way less than a pound a card. I can't figure out the maths for that, but it is less than a pound a card. Again, you are going to get your envelopes and you are going to get your full step-by-step -step instructions as well. So um, everything is in there for you. So shall we also have a look at what else we've got on the show for you? Yeah. Because this is just amazing. So if you were looking at that, we had a few people say, these would be fabulous as new baby cards because it would be like a little cradle oh, sort of rocking. Yeah. Um, then this is perfect for you because this enables you to make any style of rocker card you like. Um, this is the die that creates that rocking base. You've got your sort of scalloped um, and straight edge um, like sort of dies to create your matte and layers, if you will. You've got the concertina uh, accordion strip thing as well. You've got that fabulous curved sentiment as well. So you can add that like you can see on the front there with the best wishes. It looks amazing. But obviously, this is a tool for life. You're going to be able to make kajillions yeah. of rocker cards. Once your kit has long gone and yeah. it's long run out and it's discontinued with us, you've yeah. got this forever. You've got this forever and you can make any style. Maybe you've got uh, some of the memorable moments and you want to make you know, like the new baby cards, new job, new home, any of those cards, you can incorporate them with this die for just 19.99 and create as many as you want. So that's your sort of, I don't know, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. It's like you can just be as creative as you want with this. Oh, yeah, definitely. And make anything. Yeah. Um, so that's just £19.99. You do get nine dies in there and you can um, shop any two large dies for 34 98 So Obviously, on the website, there will be others that are $19.99. You can, I can get them all to buy with those as well. Um, we'll just have a, another look at our Win It Weekly before we head back to Becca for another fabulous demo. Um, don't forget to like, share and comment to be able to win this incredible prize. Um, what is considered bad luck during Chinese New Year? Is it A, wearing flip-flops? Is it B, eating porridge? Or is it C, whistling? We would like you to let us know. Um, and we'll be announcing three winners on tomorrow's show along with our spin the wheel. Whoop, whoop. Oh, Very exciting. exciting. Okay, Beck, so what are we going to do with our rocker die? Oh, yeah, we are going to go straight in with the die. And um, this one is for all the paper craft lovers. I've got a stamp demo coming up with this die. Exciting. Um, but this one is if you are not a stamper and you've got loads of like, little paper crafty bits that you want to use up and you're more of a die and you're more of a die cutter than a stamper. Okay, so I've got some sort of cream um, matastic and a couple of bits and pieces just here. Um, so we're just going to sort of get going. So I've taken the base piece, like the rocker base piece of our card and the instructions, it's so great. Oh, it opens mine isn't up. open, so I didn't want to open it, but I assumed you've got instructions in there. Look at those. Yeah, so they're again and again, if you keep it all together <coughs> in the packaging, you get all that. And I love that they've used a little book page on this. It was quite that is how many of us have got little books at home, like I hundreds know. of little books at home. Yeah, that's it. And if you want to do something <coughs> a little bit different, you know, if, you, if you're sort of stepping up your crafting and you don't just want to put them on Miri mats and put them on a card, you know, you really want to sort of elevate yeah. them. This is definitely a great way to use up, like you say, use up all those loose pages yeah. that you might have around. Definitely. So... <coughs> I'm going to run this piece through the machine and then I should have most of my other bits done ahead of time. Um, so let's just have a look which, which... Linda is asking what we do with the cards that we make. Um, I do feel like we've answered this recently, but we do donate them to charity. Um, so we do keep them for a certain length of time because obviously we do come back to products and things like that. So we have them stashed everywhere. There's boxes of cards here. We have hundreds down at the shop as well at Inspirations. Um, but we do um, donate them to charity once they've, they've passed. I don't know, probably about 12 months is when we have a good sort out. Yeah, definitely. Um, donate to charity. Sometimes we give them away on our Facebook pages yeah, as well. Yeah, we do, we do. I think, um, I think we're definitely due a little giveaway on, on our Facebook page. Oh, this sounds like you're going to give some away. Oh, I think I might. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll get some cards together, get a little box going, and yeah, I will definitely give some of my cards away. Have a little giveaway. Um, sometimes as well, some of my cards, my mum works at a school with deaf children, yeah. and they do a lot of fundraising, so some of mine go there too. Yeah. 
Um, but yeah, they definitely <coughs> they don't get thrown away or no. binned or anything like that. So you want to cut that twice according to the instructions so that you obviously get that that double yeah. double side. And um, it's got a gentle score, but you do need to you know give it a good crease. Okay. Um, so on one of them, we only need one tab though. I was going to ask if we if we only needed one. So tab. for the other, we just cut it straight off. So I've not really okay. bothered to sort of score it or anything because we just cut it sort of straight off. Absolutely fine. Okay. So we've done that. So that is our sort of base. So what you do is you can either stick it over the top if you're going to cover it or if that's going to be the back. Or if you prefer it hidden, you would sort of stick it, yeah. adhere it like that. Um, but before we do that, I have taken, this is from our Rustic Lace collection. A lot of it is sold out, but this is still available. Oh, I love this dye. It's amazing, isn't it? So this is our delicate doily gatefold. Now, it's obviously a lot, lot larger than the rocker base, but I just love it. And it just really goes with the theme that I'm sort of trying to recreate here. So I've got, um, I've already cut that out ahead of time. And just so it fits on, I have started chopping it up a little bit. So I'm just going to pop that on with Cute. some glue. I really wanted to, it'll, I th it'll come together, um, but I really wanted to give that sort of, it looks like a doily, it you know, does. like a tea room yeah. doily. And I've brought in some papers from the Spring Bird Song, which feature a lot of like teapots and that kind of thing. Cute. Um, so I was like, oh yes, that is what I'm gonna do. Um, Exciting, I can't wait to see how it turns out. Me too, <laughs> I've not done it start to finish yet. Um, but I had, I had a pretty good idea and I've done, kind of most of the way through. So we trust we will you see. anyway. We trust you, you know what you're doing. Yeah. You've got this. Definitely. Just gonna pop a little bit more glue because it's such a big dye. We do have the aircon on as well because I'm absolutely roasting. Um, yeah. So yeah, we, it does dry out very quickly. I know, I know. Um, yeah, it's, it's just an occupational hazard. It's yeah, the nature of the job. Um, but we can't survive without the air conditioning. It does get very lights. hot. It's not just me, it does get very hot in here. Um, lovely. So we're just going to place that just gently on oh, there. I love that. Give it a really good press. And then this is also from the same one. And I've just kind of cut that freehand. So I'm just going to sort of straighten up my edge. And again, we're just going to pop that on the top just to give it that really sort of delicate oh. doily feel. So cute. And I might just pop a bit of... Such a different way of using this dye as well. Oh, definitely. You can I wouldn't have ever thought of doing this. I, yeah, it's a little bit random. But I mean, I think um, before I started card making, I was always a scrapbooker. So there's a lot of collage and chopping yeah. bits up in scrapbooking. Because um, you don't often need great big pieces and things um, in scrapbooking. You just layer and layer and layer. So it's quite handy to... Um, to sort of chop in. So I think I just kind of always look at it that way. Yeah. Um, we're going to pop a little bit of red tape on our tab here. And then we're going to get going with the next part of our card. Oh, Vicky's uh, watching. Oh, she's listening while she's watching the Winter Olympics. Is it today that Ooh, started? Oh, how exciting. <coughs> I, don't, I don't know why I thought it was tomorrow. There's a, there feels like there's a lot going on at the moment. <coughs> uh, you know, like January has ended. Run Winter Olympics. Yeah, it feels like everything's kicked off. Now January's done with. It's like, come on, let's do all this stuff. Yes, absolutely. So I'm just going to pop that there, and that will be our little our little rocker base already. I've got that little wiggle time with that. Okay, and then I'm... So I've taken a page out of the Picture Perfect pad, and the image I've chosen is this gorgeous teapot. Oh, my goodness. Teapot. This is going to look amazing. So I'm just going to finish fussy cutting my teapot. And it's just going to look so perfect with that doily. Isn't it? Um, yeah. Just real spring what kind combo. of. It's going to look fabulous. I think that's it, though. And I think that's how, like, most crafters work. They go into their old pieces. And this isn't even that old, actually. We've launched this very recently. Yeah, um, not, I don't even think it's been a month yet. I know. Oh, how fun was the show that we did with this? It was amazing. Oh, such a beautiful collection, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. That matte finish just lends itself perfectly um, to the imagery. I'm just chopping around this sunflower <coughs> very delicately because, like I say, I just I don't want that sort of white space on my teapot handle. Perfect. Oh. So that's just going to go on at a very, very slight angle so that we can still see the majority of that doily. I'm going to pop that on with some sort of foam pads. I'm probably going to use my skinny, my sort of skinny strips. I might lightly as well just go over where I don't want my foam pads. On the live, I have a terrible habit oh. of popping my foam pads where I really don't want this them. This is a good top tip though because we all do it. There we go. And then I know exactly where to place yeah. them then. And it also helps getting that angle 
back the right way you want it when you actually stick it yes. down as well. Yes, yeah, it really does. It's just all these little tips and tricks. Like you don't have to make, I feel like I enjoy making hard work for myself, but I don't really. <laughs> um, so we're just gonna pop that on there with our foam pads. Well, there's still lots of people saying um, that I still I sound very poorly. Honestly, I do feel a lot better than I sound. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I think I think you um, you have definitely recovered a lot since yeah. the beginning of the week. And then what should we go with for a centre? I might even use the best wishes, actually. It would look really nice. And I can use up a little bit of this sort of scrap piece here, I think. Yeah, I can just about squeeze that on there. I love how this is looking. It's looking good. It's coming along. It's so cute. Um, again, it's just it's just perfect for this time of year. Very cute. It would look nice with the um, nest and the Easter eggs on. I really like how that die is curved to match the shape of the card as well. Yeah, it's pretty, isn't it? I love it. I absolutely love it. I love anything like this. You're just going to be able to use this with so many different collections. Yeah, def yeah, you really are. I think as well, I took a little bit of inspiration from the doily and as well, um, Alan and the design team have picked really nice, they've picked like a teapot, it's a bit more modern and a bit more contemporary Yeah. and I looked at that teapot image and I was like that is what I have to do yeah. but with my stash so once it's run out you can still make the same style yeah. just just like you say once the kit's long gone you can still make these kind of beautiful rocker cards hopefully that's cut out nicely yeah Super cute. Okay, so it's already really, really nicely curved round, and I'm just going to place that on there. Pop those little bits out, and then I think uh, I'm just going to place it because because of it being cream. I'm just yeah, going to pop it that's just so on cute. there. And again, this hasn't taken me too long. I know I've done a bit ahead of time, but I would still probably say no more than sort of 20 minutes. No, I wouldn't think so. Um, you know, from start <coughs> to finish with the... The only thing you've done really is cut your dies out. Yeah. Yeah, that's it, exactly. And so. a little bit of fussy cutting on your teapot. But yeah, again, from start to finish, I bet you're no more than 10 minutes. Yeah, and I, because you're getting multiples of that sheet in the Pitch Perfect pad, you can recreate this. Oh yeah, you can make it so over and times. over. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, you get 48 pages in that with four of each. Yeah. So you could make this exact same card four times. Yeah. And there's other other images, images you could use. Yeah, that's yeah. the whole page. So you could use the jug definitely. or the flowers, anything really. So I'm just going to pop that on. I'm going to pop I them. I love that. Just like so. Give it a really nice good press. Oh, and let's get these little Tweety Birds rocking away. Uh, I think I have got, I don't know where my base strip is. Um, oh, your little accordion piece? Yeah, but it's okay. I'll, um, I'll just use one from the, I'll just use this white one here. And then we'll just stick that, that down. I think it was just one that I had left over from the, the main kit, but it will work. Of course it will. Okay, so I'm going in with my red tape, <coughs> just to... I think it's worth using your red tape for this little bit, isn't it, for sure? Yeah, it is, it is. I think as well, it did, obviously the last one, I just used some sort of skinny kind of yeah. tape. But it is, yeah, I think for demoing it's fine, it kind of only needs to do its job for a couple of seconds. But I think if you are definitely um, sending this or making them to sell, your red tape is just going to be your best friend. And it's this, it's really nice and small, so you can just get those pieces so quickly. Just get that backing off. It can be a little bit pesky, there we it go. It can. That's my own, I'm so lazy that I don't like to use red tape because A, you've got to cut it, and I'm lazy, yeah. I tear my tape. And B, the backing just is crazy static. Just not your friend. And I can't ever get rid of it. So yeah, that's the only reason why I don't use it that much. Oh. Fabulous, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. I'll just tilt it forward just so you can see all that detail on there. It is there so beautiful. What a, a completely different way of using that dye as well. It's gorgeous. Thank I love, you. love, love, love it. Okay, I'm going to give you one last flick through the um, multi buy um, for uh, decoupage rocker, ca rocker cards. Rocker cards for him and for her. So you can see here, you're getting that's all of your. D 
designs in the ladies. We've got the cottage, uh, we've got um, a nice fancy coffee or a tea. We've got obviously that stunning lady that Becky used in one of her demos. We've got the butterflies, we've got the dragonflies and we have that gorgeous little bunny as well. So two of everything. Then you're gonna get all of your decoupage layers. Again, two of everything. So this combined bundle is gonna give you everything you need to make 24 cards which is incredible value. Really You know, is. if you're going to sell these, they're going to cost you less than a pound to make with your envelopes. You are going to be able to sell these for at least double that. Oh, yeah. At, if not more. It's amazing value if you do sell your cards. They're just gorgeous, aren't they? And then we move on to the um, cards for him. So we've got the football, the cycling, the rugby, the classic car, um, a real classic train there as well, and the golf image. Again, we've got our fabulous decoupage layers, uh, all accent foiled as well. So you can see when we move that, you get that beautiful accent foil detail. It is just stunning. And then we have all of our bases, which are pre-scored. We've got those foiled decorative elements, foiled sentiments, and uh, of course your little um, accordion pieces there at the bottom as well to help your card stand up nice and proud. So that is everything you're getting in there. Plus you are gonna get all of your envelopes so you're going to get 24 envelopes and you're going to get your instructions included as well. So absolutely everything you need to pop all those cards together. Um, before we head back over to Becca, shall we have another look at that gorgeous die as well? Let me oh, just bring yeah. this back in. Um, so that is your rocker card die. So if you want to be able to make your own style of rocker cards with your own images for your own themes, then this is perfect for you. So it's just £19.99 and that is going to give you the bases, um, the sort of, scalloped and straight edge uh, nesting dies there as well that little accordion piece and of course that sentiment so it has nine dies in there in total um so we are going to head back over to becca she's going to make us something else uh, using this aren't you yes i'm going to do um so i did one with the paper craft kit um you know just for anyone that doesn't really like stamping or isn't really into stamping and then i am going to do one for all our stamping friends okay um so i'm very excited i've gone in with our matte tastic again uh, and i've gone for this sort of salmon pink um, I just love it for, you know, that's the thing with the rocker, the rocker die as well. Um, you can use it, you can stamp onto it, you know, if you make it out of Ink Me or Mattastic or anything like that. It's just wonderful to get, just another way to just get those stamp sets out. We know that so many people are just getting into stamping and just joining us on their stamping journey. You know, previously they might have thought it wasn't for them or anything yeah. like that. And this is just, this is a great way to do it because the space is nice and small. Yeah. So um, it's not too, because it can be a bit scary, can't it, when you've got a big piece of card and you've got stamps and it's all white yeah. and you don't know where to start. And you've got to make a background, make a topper, do your sentiment. Yeah. There's a lot to think about, whereas these, there's not a lot of space to fill. So these are perfect for beginner stampers. <coughs> you're going on the matastic as well, which is already, you know, the colour's already chosen yeah. for you. It's just perfect. Um, and I know that we've got um, Valentine's Day coming up, so I kind of done like a really nice one with our um, Botanica Beauty stamps nice. and the rose. And I know um, we did that show as well, haven't Marie. We've we did some did great we? shows. Yeah. And um, I know you didn't quite get time to show the rose because you did like three amazing demos. Um, so I thought I'd, I'd give this it some is, love yeah, today. Yeah, perfect. So I've cut my two pieces out, and then I've cut the largest sort of scallop. Um, it's going to be our base. So exactly the same way, we're going to um, just score one of the tabs and leave the other two cut Look away. Look how well it all coordinates with the scalloped edges as well. It was very, very pretty. It's I think perfect. it. I think on this pink as well, and with the stamps that we're going to use, the roses. It's going to look very romantic. Very romantic, yeah, yeah definitely. It's going to have a really cute romantic feel to it. So where is my... Oh, Jackie has said the stamping press has made... Um, made it so much easier for stamping. It oh, really yeah. does. If you're not confident stamping, um, the, the stamping press is just ideal because it just takes all the, um, it just helps give you more confidence because you know that when you stamp it, if it's not quite right, you can go back in. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's, that's the beauty it. of it. And I think, yeah, and it's on our super savers at the moment. So if oh, you are- Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, till the 6th of Feb, so. A cheeky little super little saver on super stamping saver. press. Um, if so you haven't got one, get one. Yeah, definitely. And I think that is what a lot of people think, like, you know, this, it, it is an investment at first to get your stamping press and to get all your bits and pieces, but it's definitely worth it because in the same way, like, it's an investment like a die cutting machine would yeah. be. 
you know, you make that initial investment and then, you you know, you've got it for a long, long time. Obviously, you need to replace your inks and things after a while. Yeah. But, um, but your stamping press, you, you definitely don't. So I'm just going in with some of our pink jelly bean just to give it a really Cute. tone on tone feel. I've gone with the script and I just want to kind of stamp that like all over my card. Oh, people are starting to get their club gifts. Oh, how exciting. Jean has said my peacocks arrived this morning. It's so beautiful, isn't it? The most stunning collection you've ever seen. I know. Absolutely <coughs> stunning. We really so do. So nice. Put together some fabulous club gifts for you. Yeah, that's it. And as well, considering the free gifts yeah. as well, we don't just like things like, oh, yeah, that'll do. It's, not it's stuff only we a found freebie. in the warehouse, you yeah, know, that we've got exactly. excess on. It's designed specifically for our club gift, and it is. This time, I must admit, it is an absolute stunner. It's, it really is. It's one of the prettiest that we've like ever done. It's so nice. Nat did some amazing demos. Did she? I, yeah. I, don't, I didn't see the show. I, I didn't host the show. I was working from home, and it was just very, very subtly on. Um, yeah. If you haven't got your club gift, you can still grab it um, on the website. You just pay $2.99 postage. It's worth $9.99, and you just pay the postage. So if you're ordering anyway, Pop it in. Pop it in. Um, and honestly, it's just a stunning collection. It's the beautiful peacocks. Yeah. It's just gorge. They're very, they're very majestic animals as well, aren't they? Yes. Very beautiful. Very, very proud. Um, yeah, it's a gorgeous collection. So I'm just going in, just kind of all over stamping, just getting that space really nice and full. Not doing it in any particular fashion other than to sort of cover cover the space nice. and then I'm going to do that on the back just so that it's nice and kind of uniform um so just going in again with our pink jelly bean adding plenty on because it is a pale color and it's going yeah. on to very similar colored cardstock Sharon's asking what size the boxes that you store your prism ink pads in oh this is just one <coughs> of our storage boxes they're on the website um I'm pretty sure the team will be able to um, yeah, get sure. that in the comments for you. But they are from Hunky Dory Crafts. They're amazing, aren't they? Because they, they fit really six are. of your ink pads six in. Ink pads in. Um, and then we have a, a bigger storage caddy that they fit into as well. So you can fit all, um, I'm sure, can you fit all 36 of your ink pads in? Yeah. Yeah, you yeah. can, can't you? Six. Yeah. And I think you've still got a couple of boxes spare for yeah. like your Versafine and your sponges and anything and else. And then we have a mega caddy as well. I think that's got 16 boxes in it. Oh, that's the one that I'm thinking of. Yeah, the huge that's the one. mega one. Yeah. Um, but they're so, so useful. I like, you know, in here we've got gemstones in them, everything. They're just so handy. Oh, Zara's still waiting for her order to process. I'm so impatient, Zara. I cannot tell you how hard the team are working to dispatch all the orders. They are literally dispatching thousands every day. Um, they're really on it at the minute and they are working through them as fast as possible. Um, and we are catching up, so it should be dispatched any time. Yeah, it should. They're worth the wait as well. Oh, it they? is oh, for sure. Isn't it the best when you've waited for ages for them? It's just the best feeling ever. So we're going to go in with this one as well, and then I'm going to bring in our lovely rose sort of centerpiece stamp for this one. The background looks amazing. I love the text. Very, very pretty, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And then I'm going to go in with our pink jelly bean again and get this all stamped on. I'm not doing any colouring on the main bit. No. Um, so I like that though. I like it just being. I think tonal. that's it. When yeah, when it is tone on tone, I just the, you don't need any extra color. It's just that's the point, isn't it? It's just yeah. delicately there in the background, almost looks like patterned paper that you've bought. Yeah. Uh, and I know a lot of people love to do that. With we saw a lot of it at Christmas, people making their own sort of wrapping paper. Yeah. Um, with some craft paper. And obviously we've got the craft gift tag now and the ink me tags. Yep. Um, but yeah, I just love it. <coughs> I thought it's just the perfect time of year to just bring in a little bit of romance. Mm -hmm. Very cute. Do you do anything for Valentine's Day? Um, no, well, my birthday is kind of at a similar time. So there's always kind of a bit going on with that. So by the time we kind of get to Valentine's Day, we've already been kind of yeah. busy. Um, but it's always um chick flick night valentine's day yeah we're always allowed to watch a nice girly cheesy chick flick <laughs> um, we don't really do anything we're a bit um we're a bit boring like that mark's just too tight to do anything on valentine's as well it, it is one of those <laughs> isn't it but i think it's nice to I, I do like a nice card yeah you can't go wrong with a nice card and a, you know something nice for your tea so i'm just yeah gonna pop no i agree my red tape on here just being careful that I don't go over that. 
tab. There we go. And then we'll start building the centerpiece up on our rocker. That was all right. I know you wasn't moaning. I was just saying how, how hard the team are working. Yeah, we just want to let you know, don't we? Like They are super, super speedy at the moment. I could not pop pack boxes. Oh, honestly. They're I, insane. They're like, they're crazy. crazy. They're so fast. They're like machines. It's unreal. Um, I, you know, sometimes when I need supplies out of that warehouse, they're like, yep, yeah, I'll go and get that for you. And I'm like, oh no, because you know, they're so busy. Yeah. Um, but they're like, no, honestly, it'll take me half the time and you'll just be in my way. I'll just go and get it for you. Um, so lovely. So I'm going to stick with this pink jelly bean. I've cut out my next sort of scallop circle on, on that, um, out of ink me. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to sponge some just all the way around. just to tie in with that um, matte-tastic um, cardstock. Emily, do you do anything for Valentine's? Oh, I was gonna, I didn't think so, but you know, you could have surprised us. No, I don't. No. You could have been a hopeless romantic at heart, Emily, secretly. I just, I just think it's, um, everything's just too expensive. I go mad if Mark buys me flowers at Valentine's Day because it's they are ridiculous expensive. money, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. And, and again, like normally sometimes, depending on, you know, sometimes I've still got like a couple of birthday bunch of flowers left and yeah, it's just no. So it's FYI hard. everybody, it's Becca's birthday on uh, Tuesday. Oh, stop it. Just in case I you was didn't not going to make a big deal. Stop it. We don't let birthdays go unnoticed here. I was, I was definitely keeping that on the slide. No, but then when you asked no, me about Valentine's weren't. Day, I was like, no, because it's normally my birthday. Nope, nope, nope. Have we got this? Where's the stamping press? Um, I, Oh, it's fine. I will use. Do you want me to go and get one? I can grab you mine. I, I would love that. I'll go Thank grab you. It. That would be so helpful. I'll just fit. Uh, there's bits I can do whilst I'm waiting. So we've inked that in the flamingo paradise and the pink jelly bean. And now what I want to do is use my big rose again and the stem and stamp that in some birth uh, memento. Sorry, because um, I'm going to bring in our alcohol markers and. It's just going to look amazing. So I've just given my stamp a good clean because I don't want any of that sort of pink jelly bean residue on there. So I'm going to get that one and then I'm going to get my stamp as well. And I want the stamp impressed because I want my set, I want my I placement. I can find mine, so I've got yours. Fabulous. <laughs> it's not like me to not bring it in. I don't know where ours is though. This, it's usually on the side, isn't it? Yeah, I'm probably just not, not looking at <coughs> it. Really. Either that or it's with the three in one dye brush. Uh, yes, oh, we, we don't talk about that. <coughs> we don't what? talk. What? Are you kidding me? So, yeah. we don't talk about the three in one. We don't talk about Bruno and we don't talk about the three in one dye brush. And the trimmer, the trimmer though, has been missing for. I, I think it's been missing since before Christmas. I think someone's playing with us. It's a trick. It's I trickery. I think someone is winding us up. I think it's Jane. very mysterious. It is, it is. Okay, so I'm gonna come in with my memento and then we will get this card all finished. Okay, so just giving it, I wanted my stamping press because I wanted my placement to be just on point and then I really sometimes like to go in with a little second coat of memento, just in case. Um, but I think these stamps, they capture the details. They're so realistic. In oh, they're gorgeous, aren't they? They're beautiful. Um, so I'm just going to pop that just on there. I think I might need to move my rose down slightly. Carol's son is getting married on Valentine's Day. Oh, how lovely. So she's saying it's a very big day this Valentine's. How oh, romantic is that? That is amazing. Oh, I'm he glad will never got... forget that. You, you know when people forget their, um, their wedding days? Like yeah. men particularly, I must admit, are a little bit naughty for it. Mark's terrible because Joseph is born on the 2nd of May okay, and our wedding yeah. anniversary is oh, the 4th. Four. Four. So he does get them muddled up quite often. Um, so yeah, you can't forget Valentine's Day, no, can you? No, definitely not. I think the shops and things help us out with that as well. <coughs> this is true, yeah. Can you imagine if they just stopped doing Valentine's Day? I know. Um, yeah, I used to work at... Years ago, I used to work at M&S, and the dining day was so oh, ridiculous. Yeah. Um, right. It's ridiculous at the best of times, isn't it? Dining. Yeah, um, it's very, very popular. Like weekends and stuff, but yeah, the Valentine's one. I know. 
it's a bit crazy. So my stamp just landed where I didn't really want it and I had to kind of commit to it. You made so, it work though. Yeah, it looks fine there. Um, it just it just kind of popped off the um Because you've moved it. Yeah, I've moved it. Ink, so you've not pressed it on properly. It's just one of those, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. And I think it's fine. We'll, um, we've, we're committed now. That is something that David likes to say when he's doing a bit of an amber gambler. He's like, I'm co I was committed. <laughs> I was like, I'm not sure anyone else <coughs> will see it that way. Right, lovely. So we've just got that little bit nice. of rose detail. We'll get it coloured and popped on our rocker, and then I think we will probably leave it there. So I've got some of my favourite alcohol markers, and I have done a little swatch ahead of time, so I know which ones I'm going to use. Oh, is she good? Oh, I try. So I've got 510, 499 and 495 for the rose itself. Cute. Um, and then I'm just going to go in with some really nice, big, I can probably even use the sort of chunky tip to just get that Spell middle that covered colouring. really quickly. And then sort of go around the edges with my, my skinnier tip, my like more chisel side. So just going around those roses. And with your craft markers, if you're not super confident um, in like blending your colours, you can obviously just colour in like this. A solid colour, yeah, definitely. Um, and you can just go in with the same shade to add a little bit of shade detail if you want to. You don't have to go in with all the different colours if you're not sure and it scares you a little bit because it can be a bit daunting. Yeah, definitely. Because alcohol be. markers, are when they're on, you're sort of committed to them. You're not... They're, they're strong, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. You can't really um, take it back. No. No, you can't. But there's like even that, there's variations mm. on where I've shaded it darker and lighter. So if you just want to do a solid colour, absolutely. Um, so I'm just kind of just going <coughs> just delicately, but kind of randomly, just as they'd appear sort of in nature. I don't want to be too kind of uniform with where I'm shading. Nice. I'm just going to pop that little bit of the sort of brighter pink on. And then going back in with my 510, Again, I'm just going to give it really nice, big, big strokes on there to just push that around. Oh, Linda has said, I've been gifted a load of stamps and inks and I've never used stamps before. Um, do you have any hints on how to use them? Uh, Tracy's already said exactly what I was going to say, which is to get a stamp impress. Um, but just have a play with them. Yeah. Just uh, literally just spend a couple of hours just having a play. You can't do anything wrong. You know, if it, if it doesn't work out, it's just a piece of paper. Get your well. um, scraps out yeah. that you've saved from your paper craft cards and just practice just on the edges of those. Them. Yeah, definitely. Maybe start out with some like easy, nice, easy sentiments. Yeah. Um, you know, and just get the get the sort of get placement the hand of and stamping and yeah. Yeah. And then you can sort of build up to your more sort of image based stamps and and get your shade in. It is it is quite hard as well because you do you do you know you need your colour in and you need your blocks and your your um, press and everything but it definitely it pays off as well. Yeah, they, for they sure. are really really pretty. Definitely worth um, persevering with. Lots of people are still answering our Win It Weekly question as well. You've um, still got time. We will announce the winners tomorrow. But if you'd like to be with a chance of winning those uh, fabulous um, Wheel Surprise concept card collection. You just need to like, share and comment with your answer to this question. What is considered bad luck during Chinese New Year? Is it A, wearing flip-flops? Is it B, eating porridge? Or is it C, whistling? Let us know. It's crazy the things that uh, are good good and bad fortune in like I Luna know. and Chinese New Year. It's crazy. It's just so different to us, isn't it? Like, yeah. It, it's, what, um, what animal are you? Uh, year of the dog. Dog? What are yeah. you? Yeah. I'm a rat. I think so. Sophie's a rat as well. And we're year of the tiger this year. Yeah. It's quite interesting, isn't it? It is It is always really, really fun. Yeah. There Apparently, we we're not going to have um, good fortune this year, Emily. Oh, no. I know. Stop it. Know. It's going to be our year. It's just what it said. That's just what it said when what? I read about it. Um, just going to get my, my cap is just a little bit stuck on this. So I'm just going to really quickly just add a little bit of colour to this stem. So I'm going in with the um, 414, like the very, very lightest green. green. Very pretty, isn't it, on leaves. I'm going to give it a really, really nice good coat on these bits here. Me and Samantha are celebrating the Chinese New Year this evening. We're going for a Chinese buffet. Oh, amazing. I cannot wait. 
I am so excited. Has to be done. Um, yeah, sometimes, again, because Chinese New Year and Lunar New Year, it does move throughout the year, yeah. doesn't it? And sometimes that can be around my birthday <coughs> as well. Yeah. And my mum, there was one birthday that my mum, like, took me to Chinatown in Manchester. Oh, amazing. And there was a great big dragon, you know, yeah. one of those big dragons. It's oh, fantastic. You know, if you've got any, like, Lunar or Chinese New Year, like, celebrations near you, definitely yeah, worth checking them out. Definitely, yeah. Yeah, the, but Manchester's got a really big, thriving sort of it Chinatown. Does, it? Yeah. yeah, and it, it's we had some um, some lanterns up in Preston. I was quite impressed. I noticed that this the year. other day. Yeah, first time ever. But they had some really cute little Chinese lanterns up. So let's get this on our rocket and get it finished. This one has taken a little bit longer, but it was kind of nice after the sort of quick and simple ones that we've shown you. You can spend that little bit more time with your oh, stamps, definitely, with your yeah. inks. What a difference in the styles of cards as well. And, you know, you've really showed us some variation using it with your paper collections and now with your stamps. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And I think any of our Botanica Beauties would work. The pansies <coughs> would work with this one. Um, so I've just got some foam pads just on this circle and we're just going to pop that over that tone on tone background. But because we've inked oh, it with the pink nice. jelly bean, it just goes perfectly. That's lovely. And then I'm just going to pop that just on there. Again, I'm going to go with some foam pads and I'm going to draw around where I don't need them. Just very gently because this is white. So there we go. Uh, so again, I think I'm going to go in with my sort of strips. So pretty, I love it. It's, it's just so delicate, isn't it? Very, yeah, very, very pretty. Um, I think if you were making it more unisex, like a men's, you know, one for your husband or your partner, I think I'd probably use like black and white with a red rose. Yeah, um, yeah that, that would, would be look nice. So nice, um, lovely. So let's get this this rose let's rocking, get it our rocking. little rocking rose. So that is just how you can use it with uh, your stamps and your alcohol pens. I'm just catching the lights there. There we go. Gorgeous. That is beautiful. Thank you so much for You're showing welcome. us that. I've had such a great time. You've done some incredible demos for us. You're really showing the versatility of that die particularly. Um, and don't forget as well in the next issue of the magazine, there's some ways of how to use those yeah. concept cards as well in different yeah. ways. So make sure you look out for that. Okay, that is it from us today. Um, just a few things just to let you know. First of all, um, TV schedule. Our lovely Natalie is down at Create and Craft tomorrow. She is prepping like an absolute lunatic out there because she has got quite a fun-filled day. She's got 7.30, which is a double show in the morning, 3 p.m. and 8.15 um, with the gorgeous A Woodland Story collection. I cannot even tell you how cute that collection very is. Very cute. Oh, it's, it's just gorgeous. A little bit vintage. Very, very cute. But you just need it in your life. It's stunning. And next up on Hunky Dory TV, uh, myself and Kat will be here tomorrow to ease you into the weekend with our thank Thank Craft It's Friday show. Um, so that is it from us. Thank you so much uh, to Rebecca for those wonderful demos. Thanks. We have thoroughly enjoyed them. Uh, thanks to Emily for looking after us. And thank you to all of you at home for tuning in and joining us this morning. We'll see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.